Have you ever felt out of place in a crowd, as if an invisible force was pushing you away from the superficialities of everyday life, guiding you towards a deeper truth? Imagine possessing a light so bright, so intense, that its mere presence destabilizes the environment around you, revealing the hidden layers of reality that few dare to explore. This is the world of the chosen ones, beings touched by a deep connection with the universe, whose energy not only illuminates, but also penetrates, awakening dormant fears and desires in others. Over the next few minutes, we'll unravel the mystery behind the loneliness of the chosen ones, exploring why their journey is inevitably marked by a lonely path, despite their intense search for authentic connections. But what does it really mean to be a chosen one in a world that craves depth, but recoils at its touch? Why do his attempts to forge genuine connections often result in isolation? And how does this paradoxical reality shape their perception of themselves and those around them? As we question the existence of the Chosen Ones, we will discover how their typical intensity and search for a greater purpose places them on a different spectrum from the majority, forcing them to face not only the challenge of isolation, but also the beauty of a unique journey. Welcome to the Eye of the Soul channel. Reflecting on the nature of the Chosen Ones takes us to a fertile ground of introspection and recognition of the uniqueness that each being carries. This being, marked by the intensity of its essence and the depth of its soul, lives in a world which, although it yearns for authenticity, often shrinks from true depth. The Chosen Ones, due to their unique energy, instigate an intense reaction in those around them, a mixture of admiration and discomfort, highlighting the duality of the human being in the face of the extraordinary. It is important to understand that the striking presence of the Chosen Ones is not a matter of choice, but a reflection of their pure essence, a gift that defies norms and transcends the ordinary. This innate nature sets them on a journey of isolation, not out of desire but out of necessity, as their search for authentic connections clashes with the superficiality of everyday relationships. However, this solitude is not a void, but a sacred space for growth and self-knowledge. The ancient wisdom that resonates in the Chosen Ones propels them into a daily spiritual war, where their mere presence transforms the environment, challenging the status quo and inciting authenticity in a world full of falsehood. This battle, although solitary, is an affirmation of the strength and resilience that characterizes the spirit of the Chosen Ones, a demonstration that even in isolation, there is immense potential to influence and inspire change. Understanding the journey of the Chosen Ones requires an appreciation of the complexity of the human being and an acceptance of the uniqueness that defines each one. Solitude, seen in a new light, reveals itself not as a burden, but as fertile ground for the flowering of true essence. It is in the stillness of solitude that the Chosen Ones find the freedom to explore the depths of their being, connecting with universal energies that transcend the limitations of the material world. The true strength of the Chosen Ones lies in their ability to transform solitude into a space of power and wisdom. By accepting their unique nature, they become light, guiding others on their journey of self-discovery and transformation. This ability to influence and inspire is a potent reminder of the impact an individual can have, not only on their own path, but on society as a whole. Those chosen play an important role in awakening the collective consciousness, serving as catalysts for spiritual evolution and the search for a more authentic existence. Their stories, marked by loneliness but enriched with depth and authenticity, are a call for everyone to explore the deepest layers of their being, challenging themselves to live with a greater purpose and to seek connections that reflect the true essence of who we are. In this context, the loneliness of the chosen reveals itself not as a punishment, but as a gift, an opportunity to cultivate a deeper connection with oneself and with the universe. It is a call to recognize and honor our own eccentricity, understanding that in the silence of our own company, we can find the answers and strength we seek. There are seven peculiar reasons why the Chosen Ones find themselves immersed in solitude, and I'm going to present them to you now. The first reason is that the uniqueness of the Chosen Ones, marked by the intensity of their aura, is a manifestation of the raw and pure energy they carry. 
This presence, which alters environments and social dynamics, is not simply noticed. It is felt on a deep level by all those who enter their field of influence. The magnitude of this energy not only attracts attention, but also challenges the conventional understanding of what it means to be impacted by another person. When they enter a space, the chosen ones bring with them an electrifying charge, an energy that transcends the physical and touches the spiritual, provoking a whirlwind of emotions in those with whom they interact. This power, although it attracts, can also intimidate as it reveals the vastness of the human experience, from the unexplored depths of the soul to the incessant search for genuine and authentic connections. This ability to make a profound impact does not come without its cost. The strength of the essence of the Chosen Ones, vibrating in tune with the universe, demands of others a degree of vulnerability and openness that is often uncomfortable. This discomfort is not born from a place of judgment, but from a mirror that reflects inner truths that are often ignored or suppressed. The intense reaction they arouse in others oscillates between admiration and discomfort, because at the same time as they attract through the promise of something deeper, they also confront people with the intensity of their true essence. This paradox is the focus of the loneliness experienced by the Chosen Ones. They are sought out by the light they emit, but often kept at a distance by the strength of that same light. The path of the Chosen Ones is one of deep understanding and acceptance of their nature. By recognizing that their presence is a blessing that carries the weight of responsibility, they learn to navigate the world with a consciousness that balances their light with the capacity of others to receive it. It is a delicate balance that seeks not only to illuminate, but also to warm, a request for others to approach not only with curiosity, but with the courage to face their own truths. In this process, the Chosen Ones become masters not only of their own energy, but also of the art of cultivating spaces where depth and authenticity are not only tolerated, but celebrated. They teach us that true connection emerges not from the superficiality of everyday interactions, but from recognizing and accepting the complexity that each of us carries within us. The aura of the Chosen One, imbued with ancestral wisdom and the weight of countless narratives, is a luminous force that knows no shadows to hide behind. Its light, a beacon in the midst of the storm of human relationships, serves both to guide and warn those who approach it. This energy, deeply felt by those who encounter it, naturally attracts, but at the same time, it unveils hidden layers of the being, causing an unexpected emotional avalanche in the hearts of those who allow themselves to be involved. The presence of such a being among us goes beyond simple enlightenment. It has the ability to penetrate the darkest and deepest layers of our existence, awakening dormant fears and forgotten longings. This deep touch, while a clear demonstration of the magnitude of the Chosen One, infuses others with an acute sense of vulnerability. Confronted with their own shadows and desires, many find themselves impelled to retreat, seeking refuge in what is known and safe, fleeing from the intensity of this spiritual encounter. Retreating before the aura of the Chosen One is not merely a question of physical distance. It is an emotional and spiritual escape. When people encounter the strength and depth that the Chosen One reflects, they face a double fear. It is not only the fear of what is unknown that haunts them, but mainly the disturbance of seeing themselves reflected so clearly, of being confronted with the emptiness and gaps within themselves. This process, in which others are forced to look inwards, triggers an internal battle between the desire to get closer and the need to protect themselves from the vulnerability that this closeness brings. Being in the presence of the Chosen One is like taking an inner journey, an opportunity to face one's own shadows with the promise of light and understanding. However, the intensity of this invitation is often more than many are prepared to accept, leading them to opt for the security of what they already know, even if it means remaining in the shadows. In this context, the Chosen One finds themselves in a unique position. Their essence, although a source of enlightenment and revelation, often places them on a lonely path. The truths that its presence exposes, the depths that its light reaches, are not for everyone. Those who feel drawn to this light but shrink from its warmth reveal the complexity of human nature. 
the eternal struggle between the desire for growth and the fear of the transformation that this growth requires. This involuntary reflection, which serves as a mirror for those who encounter the Chosen One, reveals itself with a power capable of laying bare the deepest vulnerabilities and fears. Faced with this exposure, many react with a protective instinct, retreating into familiar territory, a behavior that arises not from a desire to escape, but from the intensity of the confrontation with their own essence. The presence of the Chosen One does not imply intentional domination, but emerges as a genuine expression of their being, whose brilliance can inadvertently lead to loneliness, even when surrounded by many. This paradox of the existence of the Chosen Ones, where the gift of profoundly touching and transforming becomes the very reason for their isolation, is a complex and intensely felt dynamic. They walk through a world studded with the marks of those who, for a moment, dared to approach, only to then recoil at the magnitude of what was revealed. The light that the Chosen Ones radiate, although bright and inviting, often illuminates paths of understanding and growth that few feel ready to follow. Thus, what should be the Chosen One's greatest gift? Their ability to connect deeply and induce significant transformations paradoxically becomes their most arduous challenge. They navigate in a world thirsty for essence and authenticity, but which hesitates in the face of the intensity of their being. The Chosen One's journey, although lonely, resonates with a profound truth about human nature. The longing for connections that transcend the superficial, while at the same time fearing the unveiling of our own depths. This path, marked by a tireless search for souls willing to uncover true understanding and acceptance, tells us that even in solitude, there is a transforming force. The Chosen One, in His essence, invites us to confront our own abysses, offering through His presence the possibility of transcending our limitations and finding a deeper meaning in our existence. In this way, the story of the Chosen Ones becomes a sign for all those who, although fearful of the revealed reflection, recognize the immense value of the journey towards authenticity. They teach us that at the apex of vulnerability and confrontation with our insecurities lies the opportunity for growth and genuine encounter not only with others, but first and foremost with ourselves. The second reason is that the Chosen One's preference for solitude or for the company of a select few, is not a gesture of aversion to crowds, but a response to an acute perception of the dissonance found in collective environments. This dissonance does not stem from the mere physical presence of many, but from the quality of the interactions, where the depth and authenticity sought by the chosen ones are lost amid the superficiality. In larger gatherings, the rich and complex vibrations emanating from the chosen ones charged with secular wisdom and attuned to the universe, are drowned out and their essential messages dissipate into the thin air of banal conversations. There is a particular need in the Chosen One to preserve the integrity of their essence, refusing to dilute it in order to conform to social expectations that demand adaptability to the detriment of authenticity. This preference for solitude or intimate circles reflects a search for a space where their deep insights and energy can flow freely without restrictions. It is only in these environments that they find resonance and true understanding, places where their souls can express themselves fully, without the risk of being misinterpreted or diminished by misunderstanding. The vibrational incompatibility that the Chosen Ones experience in larger gatherings is not just a matter of personal preference, but a reflection of the discrepancy between the depth they carry and the lightness prevalent in such environments. Their attempts to establish true connections are often met with confusion and discomfort, a clear sign that the Chosen One's essence is too intense to be fully appreciated or even understood by everyone. This awareness of the disconnection between their frequencies and those of the surrounding environment creates an isolation that is not only physical, but also emotional and spiritual. The Chosen One realizes that their words and presence, which aim to transcend the ordinary, are often masked by polite but empty smiles, a smokescreen that hides the real disconnection. The path of solitude or the preference for select company is not an escape, but a strategic choice that allows the chosen ones to maintain their authenticity. Amid the silence of their own company or in the presence of kindred souls, 
they find a refuge for their depth, a sanctuary where essence is not only preserved, but celebrated. The solitude of the chosen ones, more than a physical distance, emerges as a protective structure, a sanctuary to save the truest and deepest essence of their being. This decision, far from being an escape, is an act of conscious preservation, a means of ensuring that their vital energy and spiritual path remain intact and true. They recognize that the precious gift of their presence is best appreciated and respected in spaces where the welcome is total and the honor is genuine. Thus, the chosen ones move through the social environment with careful selection, drawn to places and people that vibrate in harmony with their own vibrational essence. The third reason tells us that the uniqueness of the chosen manifests itself through a complex interplay of fear and fascination that they inevitably evoke in others, outlining a duality that shapes the social dynamics around them. This relationship is not superficial, but a mirror of the depths of the human psyche in the face of the extraordinary. The chosen one becomes a living paradox, a light that not only illuminates but also dazzles, a mirror whose transparency both reveals and frightens. His presence, magnetic and disturbing, transcends the mere notion of charisma to touch something deeper, an authenticity and depth that defy the superficiality of ordinary relationships. This aura of paradox that surrounds the Chosen One acts like a magnet that, while attracting, also repels, forcing those around them to confront their own shadows and lights. This duality of attraction and repulsion weaves a complex network of relationships around the Chosen One, a dynamism that, instead of simplifying, complicates his path even more, full of misunderstandings and isolation. It is in this delicate dance between the desire to get closer and the impulse to protect oneself that the Chosen Ones reveal themselves as inadvertent masters of the human condition, challenging us to look beyond the superficial and face the depths of our own being. It is this unfathomable depth that exerts a magnetism over people, an invisible connection that attracts the soul with the promise of a truly profound understanding and communion, longings that reside in the soul of the human being. However, as they draw closer, individuals are faced with the overwhelming force of the Chosen One's essence, a power so immense that it threatens to shatter the illusions that underpin their existence. The confrontation with the naked truth of their being, mirrored by the gaze of the Chosen One, awakens an ancestral fear. The fear of being revealed in their rawest authenticity, of having the depths of their souls laid bare, of facing the shadows they have carefully tried to hide. This deep and intense fear often prevails over the initial fascination, driving a retreat towards the comfort of the known, a place where one can avoid the complexity inherent in such a level of connection. This clash generates an intricate game of social closeness and distance in which the chosen one is both sought after and avoided, becoming an enigmatic figure, both admired and feared. Thus, a loneliness arises that is both imposed and chosen, since the Chosen One quickly realizes that the intensity of the connection they desire and provide is too deep to be tolerated by the majority. In this way, the Chosen One walks a path of solitude not out of preference, but out of unavoidable necessity, as they move through a world that is attracted by their light, but is reticent in the face of the truth it radiates. The fourth reason that so vividly outlines the isolation of the Chosen Ones lies in the immense challenge they face when trying to establish genuine connections. This challenge does not emerge from an absence of desire for companionship. On the contrary, it stems from the uniqueness of their essence, a depth and intensity so exceptional that they become the signatures of their existence. Those Chosen are entities of unparalleled inner richness whose souls echo with the wisdom of the ages and truths that go beyond the ordinary. Their longing for authentic bonds is, in essence, a desire for reflections that can withstand and reverberate such depth, for hearts that don't recoil before the ardor of their flame, but instead are drawn to and willing to receive the luminosity and warmth they emanate. However, connections of this caliber are extraordinarily rare, mirroring the very rarity of the Chosen Ones this scarcity is not due to chance, but is directly proportional to the unusual gift of vigor, authenticity, and depth 
that characterizes them. To interact with a chosen one on such an intimate and profound level is to be prepared for a connection full of vulnerability, courage, and the will to navigate the still unknown intimacies of the soul. For many, despite the initial attraction, the magnitude of this journey proves extremely intimidating to face. The powerful presence of the Chosen One, although a sign of hope and enlightenment, ends up revealing the shadows that many would choose to keep hidden, instigating a retreat into the comfort of more superficial and less demanding ties. In this context, the trajectory of the Chosen Ones is marked by a constant and often lonely search for souls who can truly understand and share the magnitude of their essence. The reality of this search reflects a bittersweet duality. The light they seek to share is the same light that paradoxically expands the empty space around them. It is a solitude that is not chosen on a mere whim, but imposed by the nature of their search for connections that transcend the ordinary, illuminating both the beauty and the hidden depths of the human experience. The challenge of finding truly understandable relationships places the Chosen Ones at an intense emotional crossroads, swinging between the desire for deep connections and resignation to the loneliness demanded by their own intensity. This solitude manifests itself as both refuge and prison, serving as an oasis of peace in the face of the incomprehensibility of the outside world, but simultaneously resonating with the silence of depths that remain unexplored and unshared. Thus, the Chosen Ones emerge as janitors of a solitude considered sacred, sentinels of an understanding so profound that it escapes the capacity of many to recognize, let alone reciprocate. However, it is precisely within this challenge that the true essence of the Chosen One's journey is discovered. When they happen, the rare encounters of kindred souls are transformative, forged in the warmth of a mutually shared understanding and depth displaying a resilience capable of withstanding life's most diverse adversities with a strength as determined as it is exceptional. These connections, scarce though they may be, illuminate the journey of the Chosen Ones, reaffirming that, even in a world often dominated by superficiality, there are those willing to face the depths together, accepting and celebrating the fullness of the Chosen One's essence in all its magnificent and sometimes intimidating beauty. In this way, the existence of the Chosen Ones is revealed not only as a solitary journey, but as an invitation to a deeper understanding of what unites all beings. They remind us that, despite the apparent predominance of the superficial, the search for true and profound connections is a flame that burns in the hearts of all those who dare to look beyond the veil of everyday existence. The fifth reason outlining the solitary trajectory of the Chosen Ones is deeply intertwined with the concept of spiritual warfare, an arena where invisible conflicts unfold with consequences that transcend our worldly understanding. This battle is not fought with conventional weaponry, but through the powerful forces of authenticity, integrity, and truth, essential virtues that the Chosen Ones carry in their essence. The influence of the Chosen Ones in any environment is not limited to filling it, but to radically transforming it, serving as catalysts for a profound spiritual alchemy that converts falsehood into truth and darkness into light. The exposure of these hidden truths is, by its nature, disconcerting, forcing a direct confrontation with aspects of ourselves that we would prefer to keep hidden, not only from the gaze of others, but also from our own self-analysis. The reaction to such a confrontation varies between flight and, in some instances, direct confrontation as long as people feel threatened by the disintegration of their artificial personalities. Spiritual warfare becomes an everyday aspect of the Chosen One's existence, as their mere presence constitutes a challenge to people's reputations. In this way, the Chosen Ones face the paradoxical reality of being agents of transformation in a world that, although in need of real change, often resists it. Their journey, marked by solitude, is not only a path of isolation, but also a testimony to their mission as bearers of the light of truth, challengers of superficiality, and messengers of a more authentic and profound existence. The Chosen Ones become inadvertent warriors for the truth, wearing armor forged by the indestructible solidity of their convictions and wielding the deep and firm knowledge of their purpose as a shield. This spiritual battle, although noble, demands its toll, 
often leaving the chosen one isolated on the battlefield, facing incomprehension from those he aspires to free from the bonds of falsehood. The confrontation and flight that come his way are not just superficial responses to his presence, but reflect the disruptive impact of his essence on the fragile foundations of existences built on illusions. The sixth reason that defines the unique path of those chosen from the crowd is marked by a profound mismatch with social norms and expectations. These beings, creators of their own universes, have their own values and worldviews, carving out existences that distance themselves from the conventional. This misalignment does not emerge as a simple personal preference, but rather as an essential need, a response to the inner call for a life based on truth and authenticity. The chosen ones are, in essence, questioning entities, programmed to confront and push the boundaries of the ordinary, thus often finding themselves on a collision course with the prevailing culture. In the usual social environments where dialogue rarely discusses the depths of being, the chosen are faced with a void, an absence of support for their reflections and deep convictions. Everyday discourse, saturated with superficiality and materialism, fails to nourish souls searching for a deeper meaning, for a true connection with the essence of life. This dissonance between the chosen ones and the social environment is not limited to a mere intellectual mismatch, but manifests itself as an almost real incompatibility, generating strong unease when they are forced to mold themselves to other people's expectations. This attempt to adapt is analogous to a giant trying to fit into a tiny space, a doll's house. No matter how hard he tries, adaptation is impossible and discomfort is a certainty. Faced with this reality, the chosen ones are naturally impelled to seek refuge in solitude or within restricted circles, made up of those few who, like them, have dared to see beyond the veil of social conventions. This path, although solitary, is not a choice of isolation, but an authentic response to the contrast between the essence of the chosen ones and the world around them. It reflects a journey of fidelity to oneself, an unwavering commitment to the truth and authenticity that defines the existence of these extraordinary beings. In their search for spaces where they can truly belong, the chosen ones not only challenge established norms, but also illuminate alternative paths for those who yearn for a life beyond the superficial, a life full of meaning and depth. In the spaces they choose to inhabit, the chosen ones enjoy the freedom to navigate and manifest the fullness of their being, far from judgmental gazes or incomprehension. These are the domains where conversations reach unfathomable depths, environments where authenticity is the most valuable currency and where the soul is fed a rich banquet of philosophical reflections, spiritual explorations, and a tireless search for the essence of truth. By choosing to live in line with their innermost truths, rather than molding themselves to external expectations, the chosen ones demonstrate unparalleled courage, becoming an inspiration to those who, although they share the same desire for depth, fear venturing into the unknown. Their journey is living proof of the inestimable value of authenticity, serving as a powerful reminder that true belonging is discovered not by conforming to the world around us, but by deeply respecting the universe that resides within us. The seventh reason that motivates the Chosen One's predilection for solitude and selective company unfolds from their indomitable impulse towards a higher purpose. This call, far from being a mere whisper, is an intense summons that inhabits the soul of their being, propelling them towards a destiny that extends far beyond the confines of ordinary existence. It is a vocation charged with the gravity of the soul's destiny, a mission that demands a fervent commitment to self-analysis meditation, and the continuous improvement of one's unique abilities and understandings. For the chosen ones, this call to a higher mission is as vital as the very act of breathing, constituting an inseparable angle of their essence that cannot be ignored or neglected. Faced with such a divine summons, the noise and triviality of mass gatherings, as well as the banality of everyday exchanges, come to be perceived not only as uninteresting, but is fundamentally contrary to their introspective and meaningful path. Devoting themselves to activities or engaging in dialogues that don't vibrate in unison with their purpose in life is perceived by the chosen ones as a real waste of time and energy. 
precious resources that should be directed towards endeavors that reflect their spiritual and existential aspirations. It is therefore natural for them to distance themselves from the noise and bustle of traditional social life, seeking refuge in the serenity and clarity that only solitude can provide. This solitude, far from being an escape, emerges as a deliberate decision, a fertile soil where the chosen ones have the freedom to nurture their inner world, explore the vastness of their own soul, and establish a deep connection with the universal forces that guide their existence. It is in this contemplative silence and introspection that they achieve revelations, hone their skills, and strengthen their commitment to fulfilling their destiny. The chosen ones recognize that, in order to answer this high calling, it is essential to have the courage to disengage from the collective, opting for a life on the margins of common social life, where the true essence of their being can resonate without interference. Living on this threshold, where the voices of destiny become more audible, they dedicate themselves to an existence marked by authenticity and the incessant search for a purpose that transcends their soul. This trajectory, although permeated by loneliness, unfolds as a profound self-discovery and personal growth, providing the opportunity to immerse oneself in the innermost essences of being and re-emerge with a more consolidated and strengthened perception of the self. Following this path requires the implementation of strategies that not only alleviate the discomforts of isolation, but also exalt the unique characteristics that each person possesses. An essential tactic in this process is the development of self-acceptance, a conscious exercise in recognizing and appreciating individual qualities. This exercise invites an introspective immersion, where the chosen ones learn to pay attention to the whispers of their souls, understanding that their vibrant energy and depth are not obstacles, but gifts. Through practices such as meditation, craft activities, reflective writing, or various forms of creative expression, it is possible to explore the inner universe, discovering serenity and the genuineness of one's own existence. The serenity that comes from self-acceptance becomes a refuge, a flow of strength that allows the individual to interact with the outside world without losing themselves. In parallel to this journey of self-acceptance, there is also the search for a connection with other beings or collectivities that share similar visions and sensibilities. Despite the scarcity of ties capable of supporting the magnitude of their presence, there are undoubtedly kindred souls, be they other chosen ones or rare individuals who, driven by the same impulse for depth and authenticity, yearn to share experiences and truths with equal intensity. Discovering such individuals or communities requires a dose of patience and the openness to explore beyond the boundaries of traditional social circles in search of spaces where spirituality, creativity, and in-depth philosophical debates are not only welcomed, but valued. Environments such as groups, virtual forums, workshops, and meetings focused on mutual interests can prove to be favorable environments for these connections to flourish, providing a sense of welcome and understanding that is often lacking in day-to-day -day interactions. In addition, those chosen have the opportunity to transform their isolation into a period of unprecedented creativity and spiritual evolution, delving into practices that ennoble their inner universe and broaden their cosmic perception. Through art, writing, or spiritual research, these activities enable them to channel their powerful energy and acute perceptions into works that have the power to inspire and promote healing in others thus turning their retreat into an asset of valuable contribution. By accepting the uniqueness that characterizes them, even in the face of isolation, the Chosen Ones begin a transformative journey in which their distinctions emerge as pillars of strength. This journey, permeated by both courage and vulnerability, culminates in the recognition that it is in the focus of their solitude that the key to truly meaningful connections can be found not only with the outside world, but with the essence of their own being. This revelation, when fully embraced, lights the way to a future in which individuality is not only received with acceptance, but exalted, directing them to find their true community, not through the moderation of their essence, but through the full radiance of their light. The relevance of the chosen ones to society transcends simple appreciation. 
They are the trailblazers, the visionaries, and the discreet janitors of essence and sincerity. Their journey, although mixed with adversity, holds the promise of substantial transformations, both individual and collective. As we come to the end of this reflection, it is unquestionable to emphasize how fundamental the process of self-discovery and acceptance is. For the chosen ones, embarking on the journey of recognizing and celebrating their distinction is not merely a personal achievement, but a significant contribution to the whole, inspiring others to delve into their own essences. We therefore invite those who have been chosen and those who perceive resonances of this adventure within themselves to share their experiences in the comments. Sharing these stories not only sheds light on our own path, but also serves as a guide for others in search of depth and authenticity in a world often marked by superficiality. Each person's narrative is a testimony to the fact that, even in the most intense loneliness, we are interconnected by the invisible bonds of our shared human condition, each being a chosen one in their own way, engaged in the exploration of their identity. We therefore celebrate these stories because they not only offer us relief and reflection, but also the energy we need to continue together in this endeavor towards a more integral understanding and a broader acceptance of ourselves and others. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you find the tips and insights inspiring. Remember what you give out you get. Let's attract together the best that life has to offer. See you next time.